Okay, so today we're gonna make a very basic brine, which is sugar, water, and salt. And we add some aromatics to that as well. So we're gonna boil all the ingredients up together. Once they've boiled up, chill them down in the fridge, and you're ready to brine whatever you're gonna brine. We brine pork fillets, for example, so we trim the pork fillets up, and then submerge them in our chilled brine for 30 minutes, take them out, pat them off, and then you can cook them. It just gives like another level of seasoning to what you're cooking. Um, the other great thing which you can brine is a chicken. So we brine whole chickens overnight. Obviously it's a, it's a bigger, bigger piece of meat. So we brine them overnight for say mm, 15, 16 hours. And then if you just roast that chicken, flat roast it with a little bit of pepper, a little bit of thyme, probably won't even need any salt, just a tiny bit of salt, because obviously it's salt in the brine and you've got the most amazing roast chicken. It's, it's brilliant. So with the brine, we've got sugar, 200 grams of sugar, fresh thyme, bay leaves, fresh bay leaves, and we just, just give them a little tear like that. 300 grams of salt. This is mold and sea salt. Aromatics, we have 10 cloves, 10 coriander seeds, 10 peppercorns, 10 juniper berries, um, 10 star anise, that all goes in. Um, then we're gonna do the rind of a lemon. And if you're doing chicken, you can put a few more lemons in there as well. It just so you got sort of a nice lemon fragrance coming through the roasted chicken. And the rind of an orange. And then to finish, three liters of water. Okay, that's it. Boil it up, give it a stir to boil up, make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom, it won't. And then chill it down in the fridge, job done. And then you can just brine duck breasts, you can brine pork fillets, you can brine whole chickens, uh, you can brine pretty much anything really.